Day five of Cycle Oregon was a flat, short 40 mile ride from Diamond to Crane. Nearly all of the climbing was packed into the first 15 miles of the ride as we wended our way through the Diamond Craters. At the high point, there was a great view looking north into the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. And after 10 miles, there was a short stop at the Pete French Round Barn State Park. This is definitely a sight worth seeing. Back on the road, we continued down Lava Bed Road to Highway 78, where we were treated to a great tailwind that pushed us along at high speeds towards lunch at Crystal Crane Hot Springs. Now the smart riders brought bathing suits and took full advantage of the hot springs at Crystal Crane. Not being one of the smart riders, I elected to take the additional 45 mile loop. The 45 mile loop was about as flat and desolate as a ride could be. Luckily, there was enough of a cloud cover to keep us from feeling like a french fry under a heat lamp. But the only tough part of the ride was the 11 mile stretch into the headwinds on Highway 20, where we faced bad roads, headwinds, and trucks passing other trucks in our lane. Turning south from Highway 20, we had a brief encounter with the stinking water mountains and then headed back to Crane. At Crane, which boasts of the only public boarding high school in the U.S., we were greeted with delicious ice mochas courtesy of Nosa Familia.